Hi there. If you're not familiar with Windows 365 or Cloud PC, I definitely recommend you go and take a look. There's some great user cases out there that might fit your organization. Now in this video, I wanna take a quick look at the new features that have been deployed fairly recently. That includes the Windows 365 switch, boot, and the new Windows app. So let's jump in. So let's quickly look at the requirements for the Windows 365 switch first. So basically you're going to, on your physical device accessing your cloud PC, you're gonna need Windows 11 Pro or Enterprise, and it's best to keep that updated. And you also need a the Windows 365 app, version 131.185.0 or later. But actually we're gonna look at the new Windows app recently announced, so this will supersede this. From your cloud PC perspective, this can be Windows 11 Pro or Enterprise. Now take note, when this was in preview, you need to use the Insider Edition. And now that this has become generally available, you don't need to do that. So with that, let's take a look at the different options you have in accessing your cloud PC. So first off, I can just go to a browser. Now I'm on a Mac here, and I can go to various um, platforms in order to access it on the web version. I go to windows365.microsoft.com. I pick my account that I've got provision cloud PC. And then what I'll do, this will give you is the interface for all your devices that have been provisioned for you. So you can see here, I've got my cloud PC. So take note that this is in the browser. Now, if I open the browser here, that will log me in. If you have single sign-on set up within your provisioning, it should automatically go in. For me, I don't, so I need to put the password in. And then it should launch my cloud PC. Now it launches it in um, full screen mode, so let me just minimize that there. And there you have it, it's logged me in. Now, this is the PC that's been provisioned and configured. And remember, this, this is enrolled into Intune from an enterprise perspective. So any apps or configuration that you've assigned will be brought down to this device. So switching back to our login within the browser, we've got that option to connect via the browser. But what are our other options here? Well, if we look at install the Windows 365 app, this gives us the ability to download a client on our local PC. Now there's two options, or there were two options. You had the Windows 365 for Windows, so this is gonna get you an app on your desktop to allow you to access your cloud PC. But you've also got this remote desktop app and on, on the different platforms. And this will give the ability to log into your Azure virtual desktop. So at the moment, you've got the two applications that are split. So how is this resolved? If we go back to the home screen, as it says at the top here, you've got the Windows app is the new way to connect to all your cloud and remote resources. Let's take a look at that within the Microsoft um, store here. As it says, it, the Windows app is the gateway to AVD, Windows 365, DevBox and RPA box. So this now is basically giving you a landing place for all your access into your different environments. So this was released at Ignite 2023 and is definitely an improvement. In fact, if we go onto our tenant, we can take a look within the store. If we add a new store app from the Microsoft store app and we do the select there, we can select the app store and let's take a look at what's available. So if I just put in Windows here, we've got the option of the Windows app. We don't have the option for the Windows 365 app. So basically this app has now superseded the Windows 365 app and gives you that extra features and functionality to gain access across platforms on all your devices. Now there are two options here. For an enterprise environment or enterprise PC, this is the best way to deploy we would upload or install this application and then deploy this down to our individual clients or users, as you would expect to manage all the configurations and apps this way. The alternative is obviously you can go to the Windows Store and download it individually. Switching back to our browser here, 
I can go into Open Windows app. It's going to need to log in. Um, I've already done that. So it's given me a window into what I have available. Now I only have a cloud PC at the moment, but if I had a, an AVD connection or device, it would give me that option here. Now again, this is through the browser. So what we want to do is actually connect through the application itself. So now that I've deployed this Windows app down to my Windows 11 device, let's switch over and see it working. If I bring the device up, once it's installed, you can pin the Windows app down to your taskbar. So if I start that, it's gonna, firstly, you're gonna need to log into it, but then it's given me the option, if I look at all devices here, I'm gonna see everything that available to me. Now, the big difference here is Microsoft introduced the switch feature. Now, if you haven't already seen it, down here on your taskbar, you've got this task view. Now, task view allows you to create multiple desktops where you might want to separate your work during the day. You might be a developer and you might want to contain any, everything within that desktop or you might have a different environment you want to log into. And this is where Switch really comes to its own. If I go back to the app, right by the connect button here, I've got these three ellipses and I can hit add to task view. What you should see when you now go down to your de desktops is automatically you, you can switch between your local desktop and your cloud PC. So let's do that. Now it may take a minute or two before when you first start this up and it allows you to switch back to your local, local PC while that's happening. Once it's logged in, it's going to give you the option. You may need to add some credentials first, such as my pin there, and then it's going to launch the PC. And there you have it. So what you have now is not only the ability to switch between your desktops and your different environments, but this Windows app now gives you access into all your different remote desktops. So thanks for watching. Unfortunately, we didn't get to have a look at the Windows 365 boot, but we'll do that in the next video. We did have a look at Windows 365 with the new Windows app and the new feature with Windows 365 Switch. Go ahead and have a look for yourself and see it working.